Now we're going into your third year here, but there's been a lot of change just with the franchise overall. What do you think needs to happen this season in order to bring some stability to the franchise? Just establishing who we are and you know winning games. That's really what it comes down to. I think um, I won't say nobody's questioned it because ultimately what makes you a good team is winning. But you look back to 22 year and just how close we were to being a, one of the top teams. You know, just by if we finish out a couple of those games, but you know you're in the bottom when you don't win them. So um, you know we're, we're really close to being able to. You know, we obviously got the guys, we got the staff, but. Football's a, a, a tough sport, and it's the most team sport that there is. So when you get everybody together, um, you know, all working together to you know get it done on offense, defense, special teams, whatever it is, that's when you get the best results. And we're working at that right now. Has the coach changed much since he's been named permanent versus being an interim, or is it pretty much the same personnel? The exact same guy, which is why he's in that position right now. And I mean, he's been that guy really since you know I first got here. But the thing is, when you're a, position coach, you don't have that same voice and you know, you don't get to be heard as much, which, you know, I talked to a couple of the guys that were in his room and they said that's exactly, you know, it's the same as that guy the whole time. It was just kind of more a local uh, ap atmosphere of AP versus, you know, being able to bring that on the whole team. And then uh, once he got in the spot, you know, we've, we've felt him and he kind of jumped in there at first and kind of got his feet wet a little bit. And then, you know, he just, he, he turned into our head coach, you know, before he even got that, that real job. So. You know, we love it and, and he's consistent and that's, um, you know, a passionate, consistent, fair coach is about all you can ask for in this league. And um, he definitely knows his stuff too. And he's got a, a great staff around him to help. So it's been, it's been great, um, you know, working with his new staff so far. Uh, you said a couple of interviews this off season that, you know, kind of a lot of the rumors that surround your name, some of that stuff kind of made it into the locker room yeah. last year. Did you have to do anything extra to sort of address that with the guys, kind of dispel some of that stuff? Or did you just kind of leave it? That's I'm, I'm I'm mad and glad that you asked that because I actually the other day was getting ready to. My thing is I, I mean you know I don't I don't do a lot of apologizing because I, I like to be careful about what I say. So when it comes out you know things are this person said this they said that I don't like to even jump in and give it attention because then it makes you you know look halfway guilty. But um, at the end of the day and I, I'll just address this right now because the, the most recent one about. Deshaun Jackson saying whatever he he talked to me and whatever. I mean, I almost put a video out the other day, but then I, I came back on it because I just didn't want to even bring that tension and start put, you know having that in the team's mind and you know everything I say ends up and I'm sure this will be too. But at the end of the day, the facts are the facts and that is not a fact. I've probably spoken to Deshaun Jackson maybe three or four times in my life. And I never had a conversation with him ever. And I put that on my kids. I've never spoken to him about anything. Only person I really talk to about my feelings in general is my wife probably. And she ain't out there leaking anything and, and dropping stuff like that in the media. So once again, whatever you see, if it ain't from the horse's mouth, it's probably bull. I don't like that. I don't like when that happens because at the end of the day, I don't really care because it's, you know, I don't, I live my life and I've gotten to where I've gotten in life in this game or whatever, just from not really paying too much attention to what people say and not feeding into it, not even responding, which is why you haven't really seen me come out and say, oh, this ain't true, that ain't true. I don't even wanna give it attention because it's already enough, the moment I open my mouth is all over everything. So, but I guess they got what they wanted this time. Whatever has been put out there lately is complete BS. I've never talked to Deshaun Jackson about one thing, so I don't know why you know, I, I didn't see the interview, so I don't even want to say, I don't know if that is a, a real quote that came out or how that played out. But in terms of me being upset or not being happy in this organization, it's just a bunch of BS that's just meant to throw everybody off and get, you know, clickbait. Everybody want to see what Devontae Adams got to say. And, you know, he's pissed off in, in Vegas. If I was pissed off, I mean, I, I wouldn't be here right now. Like I said, back at my camp, when I want to think somebody here might interview me then. I don't, I don't do a lot of the extra stuff and, and you know whatever you hear from my mouth is, is what you get and I don't think that y'all stand in front of me getting the vibe that I want to leave this place and if you do then you just feeding into the book that they that they feeding y'all out there and that's not uh that's not reality so that's what it is.